previously on Dare to Go Zero. We were disappointed that we didn't win the, the grand prize. Whenever they said goodbye Barnes, I was like, oh, you know, that's sad. But then I was like, okay, they're down. And that two pounds of trash last week was really great. I honestly, I thought they were probably the Barnes family was... I thought they were going to be the, yeah. the top family. My mom moved in on Monday night. When you come to visit, you know, there was always quite a bit kind of lying around, a lot of trash here and there. What? Don't you think? It's what? Clutter. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is one, two, three pieces of soap. We've made one bar of soap out of it. Doves at the Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely a nice way to recycle items to make something fun for you to have at your house. The winner of Dare to Go Zero is going to be... We were disappointed that we didn't win the, the grand prize. Joe had crunched numbers the night before. I really thought the green team was going to come in at four pounds again. I, I just had this feeling that they were going to maintain their average, and I was right. Whenever they said goodbye Barnes, I was like, oh, you know, that's sad. But then I was like, OK, they're down. I was hoping to hear five pounds or more for the black team, and I knew we'd be OK. But three was not going to do it. He is sad, as you can see that the blue team, the Barnes family, was eliminated. It was sad. Connor, they make silverware, you know. That's one way to avoid waste. No plastic utensils. I honestly, I thought they were probably... The Barnes family was... I thought they were going to be the, yeah. the top family from, num from day number one, just because dad was so involved and just so enthusiastic. They were very nice, so we were sad to see that a team was eliminated at all this week. Although we're glad it wasn't us. And that two pounds of trash last week was really great. I mean, you know, I think we put up a number that, I, I don't know if anyone might tie it, but I'd be surprised if anybody comes in lower than two pounds. I felt bad for them because they had worked hard and then they got to where we were. But um, on the other hand, I was kind of happy. because there was one less family I had to get off this show. <laughs> Keep Austin clean by not like just throwing your trash out, take it home, recycle it and stuff like that. And just think about what you're throwing away before you actually throw it away and give it to the trash truck to take to the dump. Kathy is the one that I'm probably the most proud of. I usually pack my lunch in a brown paper bag with a plastic bottle, but tomorrow I'm gonna use one of these bags that they gave us for the competition for my lunch and I'll use my aluminum Jones for water bottle. Even um, after being eliminated, I still hear the conversations between her and Joe. Our teachers gave us water bottles, and instead of giving them back to my teachers to throw them away, I brought them home to be recycled. So she's, I think it's become a part of her. I think about it still, I'm like, well, why do I have to recycle it and stuff like that? Because we're not in the competition, so who cares anymore? And then I think, well, one day we're not gonna have enough space to put all of our trash away. This family, made some good changes and even when Joe took the trash out Monday morning he said it was a little bit heavier than you but it's made us very much aware we set out to learn and have fun doing it and we did that I'll tell you the best part is, is the people involved uh, the other families meeting them you know we're all from different parts of the city so, I mean, meeting other citizens and, that have an interest and a desire, and then meeting the people behind this. I mean, the people that are involved in, in trying to lead our, our city or, or the film crews. I mean, you can't put a measure how great that has been to, to meet other people that you would have probably never met before. I mean, me and my mom did get in a hurry this last week by just throwing stuff away. And then Joe would come home and say, well, I was missing the trash, and we'd be like, Oh yeah, we forgot. The trash can's still being watched. I mean, we're, we're, we're still trying. 
we're not really in the competition and he's still acting like we are. And then he like says he's still gonna continue like recording on the flip cam and stuff like that. <laughs> we said, why? The competition's over. He goes, I just thought, well, they're coming on Wednesday. I said, dude, we're out of the competition. He goes, okay, I won't then. <laughs> I said, you're, you're in denial. It's over. He just says, but he's going to film without us around. <laughs> the competition's over, but the goal is still there. I mean, my family's responsibility is to reduce our waste to a level that meets the, the goals for the city of Austin. Austin's a great city, and I just hope that uh, everybody will, will do their little part in being a good steward about dealing with waste and, and let's make it an even greater place. I mean, we all work together. Um, you know, who knows how great our city can be. Well, Joe, don't get too disappointed. Your family was able to set a great example to the city of Austin of how we can move towards zero waste. <laughs> Guys, how did this week go? It went, went well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Any changes? New family members move in? <laughs> Some people go away? What happened? Objection, yeah. leading the witness. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? My mom moved in on Monday night. Julia is my daughter. Mm -hmm. Starting a new job in Austin, so we had, we've had her since then. Well, we want to be close to little baby Will. Even three hours away is too far away when, when you have a little infant, so. Do you think that contributed to any gain or, or loss or? Well, how have you guys done in two days while I was gone? We ate outside of the house mostly, and other than the, you know, defrosting milk, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. So I don't think she's bought anything else, brought anything else into the house that's gonna impact our way in. So. Yeah, and she's following our same like cloth diapering and cloth yeah. wipes and yeah, all she's that been very set up. Nah, I don't think so. I, I I let her I let mom know that you know we're trying to go zero and just keep the waste down. I am not. I wish I was, and I guess I'm going to have to learn to be better now, and certainly here. But I think we'll all, you know, learn something from, you know, you guys participating in this. Hopefully, they could teach us a few things, and we could go from there. So, give her the boot camp. That's right. So this is how it works. That's so how it goes. Doing things. Right. In a polite way. <laughs> of course. Very loving. He's always polite. polite. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get on to it. Where did we start? What was our benchmark when we started? Anybody? 25 uh, pounds. And then what was our next weight? 11. 11. And then we had? Three, three last week. And now we have? I think we can maintain, if not do better than what we did this week. Yeah, other than buying food for him, you know, and packaging, we're trying to do everything without, you know, introducing any more trash into our home. I think we've just got some tough competition, so. Oh, this is bad. 0. 0.33. Oh, get out of here. Yay. 0. 0.33. Now, even though we're there, there's still something in the bag. So I'm gonna take a look and see if you guys maybe missed anything at all. I see a lot of plastic, that's definitely stuff. You know, with these bags, you can def definitely take them back to the store. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's something that you can keep in mind in the future. Then I still see some Ziploc bags, maybe yeah. some of the reusable stuff, mm -hmm. um, reusable containers, maybe that instead of those those bags. But other than that, I mean, there's really obviously nothing in here. <laughs> so, so no other changes. No, you didn't start using any different products. Um, well, we did start using the reusable produce bags. Okay. for the grocery store, so we cut down on that quite a bit. Basically, it's going to be a little mesh bag that when we go grocery shopping, we don't have to keep using the plastic bags. Mm -hmm. Put our produce in there, and they can weigh it and measure it, and come home, and we'll just use them for the next trip. Extremely expensive, affordable, I mean. It's $5 for three bags. Good so size bags, yeah. plenty of stuff can go in them. Yeah. Okay. And we're also using reusable wipes now, actually. We started doing that him. middle of last week. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you mentioned something uh -huh. about that. Yeah. yeah it's actually How's that not working? Not too bad. We just throw them in with the diapers, so it's working out. We just got to keep restocking them ourselves. So you can see Will and his disposable or non-disposable diapers, I guess, not having them in our waste anymore really helped us in staying in the challenge. So it's kind of the convenience factor versus the waste factor. Obviously, right. you know, if you want to get down to nothing, you know, then 
we're getting rid of that extra right. layer of uh, you know, re non reusable products that we're bringing in our house. Right. Although we are also composting any of the disposable type uh, mm -hmm. wipes that are not you know, totally soiled. So. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, good. Well, those are great, great things and, and good job. Proud of you guys. Thanks, Thank Mike. you. The Zimmerman Bryan family had great results this week. Let's see how they got to zero waste. In week one, they had 25 pounds. Week two had 11 pounds. In week three, they had only three pounds. Each week, when we weigh the families, we round the weight to the nearest whole number. This week, the Zimmerman Bryans had a total of 0 0.33 pounds of waste. When rounded, that is zero waste. Great job, guys. We're here with the Johnson family. Guys, how are you doing this week? Good. Right off the bat. I see we have a different can. Yay, we got our new little mini trash can. We got a small trash can. We don't have as much stuff, so I pay for a big trash can with nothing in it. Recycling does pay. Yes. Puts a little money back in your pockets. So what was, what did we start with? Um, what was your benchmark? 18. Then we went to? Four. And then? Four. And now? So no loss last week. No. Was there a loss this week? The bag uh, looks yeah. small. It looks small, but It better know. not be four pounds in there. While I was online earlier this week, I found out that I can compost the Q-tips that had the cardboard sticks on them. So I'm gonna go through our trash can, the bathroom trash can, ick, and dig out all that stuff because I'm trying to get down to zero waste. You can compost urine. Somebody's gonna have to pop a squat and just, you know, and go. Any guesses? Zero. One. 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 All right, well, we're about to find out. You ready? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Johnson family, your weight is zero. Woo! Yes! And I just Sorry. got bit. Very good. <laughs> See, I was right. I'm always right. Yes, I'm so happy. It's so. all because of me. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> What different this week? Two fours and now zero. What what was it? The thing that really started off is seeing that we were in the final two. And I'm like, okay, we have to make this work. So right. did a lot of researching, find out what stuff you can compost. One day Ashley was out there, but she I was like, is it growling? Mikey's growling? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, yeah, Mikey's hungry. And so I made little a little thing at work. Because you know the little commercial, Mikey eats anything? <laughs> so, Mikey will eat pretty much anything that we can't recycle. He'll eat. Mikey, the mean green composting machine. Woohoo! It's cute. So, it has a name as part of the family now. And also, um, we got a little creative with it. So, oh. with our meat trays, like, you know, have to cook. So with our meat trays, I crack them up and put them in the reused baggies that we have, because we recycle our baggies now. Uh -huh. And well, we reuse them. And so I put the meat trays in there, let them dry, and we're gonna use them like for packing or like if something needs cushion in it, we're gonna use that. Instead of the little peanuts, we have meat trays. Just cleaned out real good with bleach. There you go. So, <laughs> you definitely wanna clean them. That's very creative, that's yeah. good. Anything else? Um, soap. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, okay, we have, we got to hear it now. You know how soap gets really small? Right. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is one, two, three pieces of soap that we would have ordinarily thrown away, but we've made one bar of soap out of it. It's a very sensitive subject. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to throw it away. So whenever the soap gets really little, we would normally just throw it away, but I've kind of like, you know, been getting a whole bunch of them together in the Ziploc bags and saving them until the other soap is down real low. And I'll wet them and I'll smush them together. <laughs> so we have four different scents in one bar. <laughs> I feel like we're trying to make a new perfume or something. Zest spring dove. <laughs> <laughs> Doves at the Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That is definitely reusing stuff. Yeah. 
so. It works. They don't like it. <laughs> 40, oh yeah, that's kind of, yeah, we're gonna have to work on that. Let's, what about if we just collect the different types and then mash those types together? We'll get there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but hey, it's working. It's working. Yeah, it got down to zero waste. That makes me feel great because, you know, it, it makes Martea feel good. It, it can be done, you just have to be willing to do it and then you have to be open to learning new things. So today we went to Vivo's for lunch and when we asked for a to-go plate, they brought us out a styrofoam, like a little black bottom with a clear top or whatever. But we asked if they had anything that was compostable or recyclable and they actually brought us a compost compostable to-go container. Look. See? Great job this week. Thank you. The Johnson family also had a great week. How did they get to zero waste? In week one, they had 18 pounds. Week two had four pounds. And in week three, they maintained a weight of four pounds. This week, the Johnsons had 0 0.35 pounds of waste. They also reached zero waste. Great job. So you guys ready for this week's dare? What dare? You're about to find out. It's fun. You, you, you'll like it. All right, let's go. All right. When the city picks up your recyclables, they are taken to a materials recovery facility, which is commonly called a MRF. Here at the MRF, your recyclables are separated and prepared for marketing to end users. Here in Austin, during that sorting process, we have found several materials in the MRF that shouldn't be placed in recycling carts. Some of the items include plastic bags, wire coat hangers, garden hoses, propane tanks, and pizza boxes. You're gonna have to create piece of artwork using these five non-recyclable items. We have a propane tank, a garden hose, four grocery bags, four hangers, and this pizza box. You'll have 10 minutes to plan, another 10 minutes to gather any items that you want to use in addition to these, and 45 minutes to complete your masterpiece. Any questions? Nope, we're good. Think you can handle it? Yep. Yeah, we got it. You ready? Let's yeah. do it. All right, good luck. Thanks. All right, first off, let us let me get a piece of paper and a pencil. All right. All right. So what do we got? I think that Martea's probably got like some young creative mind. Mm -hmm. I think it puts a pizza box on top of the propane thingy in my jigger. She's probably got a bit different perspective than, than us older people. What are you thinking? I don't know. Green machine. Green team machine. And we're taking all that stuff that you can't use, and we're gonna like use it. We're gonna come up with something. You set it, wrap it around here, and then this can be the head, and you can put the things on top of the box. You don't get it? No. no. But I wonder if we can do something to cover this, like wrapping paper. Okay. I have tape in the car. I'm gonna see if I can find some green uh, spray paint. So you wanna make a list of what you're getting, and I'll make a list of what I'm getting? Sure. I'm getting tape, uh, maybe some Paint pens. We're getting the palm leaves. Palm leaves. I'll get gift wrap. Everything on here is not mine. Except I we're like not, this looks like a cat. That, I don't care. That it doesn't that's matter. Cute. Come on. That's gonna be We have to much. think. That's we, have it. To. we have everything. We have everything. You're getting too overexcited. I know. Okay. Calm down. All right. Okay. Make well, sure we'll try to use it grab all. Grab more. If you think of something, you see something, grab it. All right. All right, Marty, come on. What's up? Marty. Ah, in my room? Yes. Tape. We can do okay. sequence for eyes. Okay. Hold on. This is, I think it's fun, yeah. you know, obviously, to to do something different than what we've been doing. It would normally be in here. Ah, you know what? So I'm always trying to fix stuff. Chase, what else can I get? Grab that stuff that's sitting in the floor. Grab the toolbox, bring it over there. No oh. ice cream. I have an orange correctional outfit. Let's see. Come on. Oh, cell block psycho. Yeah, he's a I don't know. psycho. I got a nice splinter in my finger. No, psycho leaves. No, 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 no. 
Well then, come on. My thing is I went in the garage and saw things that, oh yeah, that'll look good on it. So we had a bunch of extra spare pieces in here that, you know. We you didn't see, need. Yeah, we didn't really use them. Where are her crafts at? Right here. No, that's not craft. <laughs> but you see it and you're like, okay, I think I can do something with that. Exam x-rays? I knew I was saving those for a reason. Hold on, no. checklist. Ready. All right, who's gonna do what? I'm, I'm gonna glue guard. Undress I'm, them, Taya. I'm drawing them things. Undress them. You wanna do the hose first, right? I think Julia is gonna be the one who has the most say-so in what goes where. Be like a little tiki man. There, there's nothing little, cohesive to what you're though. talking about doing now. You're just putting stuff on a propane tank. I thought it was abstract. Yeah, it is, but you still gotta so, be, you still gotta look like something. Abstract is not cohesive. You got an art history minor, all right? You took two classes. I studied, no, I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> well, the way he talks, she mainly put the compost together. No, I was just gonna do for the sign. Are we still doing the sign? If we're gonna really name it something, mm -hmm. what do you think? Thought about using the pizza box um, as to do like a little name plate, but we couldn't really come up with a name. Think of a name. Um, junk bomb. <laughs> It, it didn't fit with the overall just kind of abstract idea that we're going for of something that's part of mainstream society rather than you know a bunch of randomly thrown together stuff. I don't know. I guess it would have not gone with the entire aesthetic. We were You're going so for. deep. <laughs> I think it was great, but I guess when you start putting stuff together, your mind starts to wonder. Ash, where's the eyes? The eyes are already made. They started to change their ideals of the eyes. Baby, make his eyes darker. Okay, please. I don't want his eyes darker. I want it to be Wait, that light. Don't make it that darker. Thank you. Never mind. Crazy woman over there. But other than that, it all came together. It looks good. It looks great. They'll probably have more fun with it. And... Oh, his hair. You didn't have fun? I had a lot of fun working with you. Can you touch these? Mm-hmm. Will you just hand it, give it to me in my third hand? I will. I'm trying to give you a hand. It's coming out of my back. Just going to put it right there. It was great. You really listened to my opinions. You got to wrap it. <laughs> he is an example of what people think you can recycle, but you can't recycle. It either has to be taken to the hazardous waste, I believe, or put in the churizzy izzy ash. Ooh, these are pretty cool. It's a, uh, looks like a cat scan or something. These are actually from jo Julia's mom. Oh, sh never mind. This one's mine. <laughs> I, I want it to be dark and you know, reflect the fact that we're using stuff that may be in our landfills instead of putting the bright colors and stuff on things. I'm trying to make something scary. I wanted something bright to catch someone's eye and not look so morbid because we're trying to make this a fun deal with recycling and mm -hmm. being more thoughtful about waste. It's kind of pretty, right? <laughs> it's not staying in our house. So now that our families have completed their artwork, we've invited Lanny Goldstaff from the City of Austin's Cultural Arts Division to judge their work. Let's see how they did. Hey, Ash, do you think we're going to win this challenge? I don't know. I don't know, but this music is really encouraging me. You know, feel like Rocky, man. Rock Zimmerman Bryan family. Better get it together. The Johnson family, the green team, we coming through, baby, and we coming all. Sign out. Signing out. Ashley from a green team. Hmm. What do you think of that, Will? I kind of like how they use the pizza box. It's got eyes. They used it. Yeah. It looks like a little robot man. Yeah, it does. That's pretty... The green team machine. There's does oh, have a name. It does, and it's got like a 
personality. Will wants in. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave the art to the artists and appreciate it. No, is that there right there with the dead grass on it? Yeah, that there, that's there. What is it? What is it supposed to be? I don't know. She's she's judging, I think. Let's hear. Look, you see her smiling? Yeah. They didn't use the hangers, did they? No. I, I like that they grabbed a lot of different things to incorporate into it. This might be wrapping paper that they've put around the propane tank. No, it looks like they just used three of the eyes. Oh, four of the eyes. All right. Hey, Black hey, team. Guys. Hello. Hey. What's up, girls? Just <laughs> back. I don't know. Um, but otherwise, I don't see any other um, added materials. That was a hard question. Good job. I don't know if you guys that thought it was so hard. That was so good. <laughs> it was hard. Especially Sean Cruz, that was good. Yeah. Y'all definitely got more of a theme, like, thing. <laughs> and the name. And the name. Green Team Machine. How's everybody doing? Good. Good. So today's the big day. We'll find out who the champion of Dare to Go Zero is. Before we do that, though, we have Lonnie Goldstaff. She's with the City of Austin Cultural Arts Division, and she's going to tell you who the winner of this week's dare is. Okay, you guys, it was a really tough decision. You both made some uh, really creative pieces. Um, I had to score you on what materials you used, how creatively you used the materials, and just overall aesthetics. And um, ultimately, it came down to who used the most uh, non-recyclable materials that you were given, uh, which was this team. Johnson family, <laughs> good job. <laughs> That's two dare victories in a row. Back to back weeks. Oh, Three? Back to back. Three, all Three total, together. two back to back. Yay! Y'all on a roll. <laughs> well, now's the time. The winner of Dare to Go Zero is going to be decided next Saturday. You all have one more week. One more week. So, the challenge is yours. So, join us again next week when our families. Dare to go zero! Next week on Dare to go zero. We hope that we're going to win. We've been trying really hard, but again, we just know that the competition's really tough, that, yeah. you know, it could go either way. Do y'all have an old computer y'all want to donate? We got everything else. I'm hoping that, you know, they didn't get those items. Woo! We did it! <laughs> Disgusting horse. Uh, we may have some old paint. Oh, look. We're full of talent in the hood. No. <laughs>